Okay, what is the total number of coins that Bert and Claire have together? That's what we're looking for. So this is a value question. We're actually trying to find the number. I'm going to actually say, why don't we start with statement two? Because statement one is going to take a little more thought. Statement two, very easy to see. That total number is between 21 and 28. Well, right there, we don't know how many it is. We're, we're now down to a few choices. But obviously, by itself, this is not sufficient. So now we have to totally forget about that, and now we're going to move on to statement number one. Bert has 50% more coins than Claire. So fact number one, first of all, Bert is the bigger one. Bert has more than Claire. Well, let's think about this. If someone can have 50% more than Claire, exactly 50% more, then Claire must have an even number. So we don't know what. Let's just say that Claire has 2K call it K. Some even number. Well, half of that, of course, would be K. So that means B, who has 50% more, would have 2K plus K, which would be 3K. So together, they would be 5K. So that's interesting. The total number of coins together has to be a multiple of 5. Well, that by itself doesn't allow us to figure out the total number of coins. So that by itself is not sufficient. But of course, now we see the magic. If we put the two statements together, it has to be a multiple of 5, has to be between 21 and, 21 and 28. Well, the only multiple of 5 in that region is n equals 25. Together, they must have 25 coins. And this would mean, incidentally, that Claire had 10 coins and Bert had 15 coins. And so combined we can answer the question and so that means together the statements are sufficient answer choice c